Hi everyone, I have got another Stitch Fix box. It's been sitting here all week. I just haven't had the energy to try everything on. But anyway, I've got to get it done because I've got to get it sent back. Um, do you want to stick around and check this out with me? See if there's any keepers in this box. See if they redeem themselves. Because I did not keep anything last month. So I am excited to see what's in here. I really need some nice winter sweaters. Now that everybody's back in the office and people are starting to come around again, I probably should start looking presentable again. So anyway, I hope you stick around to join me because I really need your help. Because I don't know what looks good on me and what doesn't. And I really trust your opinion. So I hope you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome to my channel today. I am so excited to have you here because I've got a Stitch Fix box. And you know that I am fashionably challenged. I, d I didn't think that was a word, but... I think it pretty much describes me. So I have got my box from Stitch Fix. I just uh, cut it open because I'm a little dangerous with scissors. Sometimes you shouldn't drink and play with scissors. Just saying. Uh, so anyway, I want to thank everyone too for joining me tonight. I appreciate you and your support more than you'll ever know. It just means the world to me to have you take some time out of your day to spend with me. So thank you everyone for that. If you are new to my channel, I hope you consider hitting that little red subscribe button. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. And if you are new to the Stitch Fix world, I will put a little link up here. It's a little uh, clip that I made a while ago just kind of explains how Stitch Fix works. I'll also have information below in my description. Also in my description, I'll have a referral code. Usually the, my code is worth $25 for anyone that hasn't tried Stitch Fix be before. And that would give you $25 off your anything that you happen to purchase from your box. Um, this time, I think it's good for 48 hours. I have a $50 code. So $50 of free clothes, that's always good. So, uh, and again, it will be described up there. The link will be there. That'll take you right to Stitch Fix. You'll fill out a quick profile. You'll get assigned a stylist who will send you a box of hopefully five amazing items. Yeah, the last box was not so good to me. It just, it just wasn't me. It wasn't that it was bad things. It just, it just wasn't me. And, you know, and I think we all have COVID to thank for that. I think um, it's just hit every industry so hard. And the stylists are, are coming and going maybe so you don't get the same stylist. that I, I mean, I had the same stylist for a long, long time. I had her for almost two years. And, yeah. So, I mean, she gets to know your style and watch your videos and knows what you kind of look like and what your body style looks like and what you wear and what you don't wear. And so to get new people all the time, it's it's really hard. But anyway, you get, uh, you know, the stuff and face. You're going to get your invoice here. That's going to tell you the prices and with your discount and everything. And I'll explain that during the recap. Um, anyway, I do have a new stylist again. This is my stitch, ne stitch fix number 35. So almost three years of doing this. And, uh, yeah, so, I mean, they've had their challenges with me because I started when I was 190 pounds and now I'm not 190 pounds. So they've had to kind of style me through different body changes and things like that. So, yeah, they had their work cut out for them. Um, you also get this uh, styling card, and I really do like these and appreciate these. So you get, uh, basically, it's going to show you the item probably that's closest to the middle is going to be the one that's in your box and then they show you different ways that you can style it sometimes it's to kind of put it more casual sometimes it's more for a business look um you also get a note from your stylist and i do have to say i mean i know a lot of people say that their stylist notes just really are generic and they just don't feel like it's for them but i feel like even though they've been changing focus my stylist around like crazy I feel like that my notes are personalized. I feel like they do read my feedback and what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping and why I'm not keeping it. And I do appreciate that they take the time to read it and uh, style the box based on that. Alrighty, so let's hold up the bundle, everybody. Some people call it a burrito. And yeah, so I see an animal print in here. I see a pretty shade of purple. I see some denim, something black, and then maybe a uh, Kind of a blue heather type thing so anyway i'm excited to try these on i hope they stick around and join me because yeah i need some help also in here my box fell on the floor but you do get a prepaid mailer uh, shipping is always free coming and going and anything that you don't want to keep you just send back in that postage paid mailer through the u.s postal service and um 
or if you need to exchange something for a, si a different size, you just put it in there and they send you another one. So anyway, I hope that you stick around and join me because this is where I really need your help. Okay, see you in a few minutes. I'm going to have some more wine. Bye. Hi everyone, so we're back. So that was fun. The try on is always the fun part. The uh, the invoice part and trying to decide what looks right and what doesn't look right and trying to be honest with myself and what I'm gonna pull for in the closet, what I think looks nice, but am I gonna pull for it or do I think it looks nice, but it really doesn't? That's my trouble. So let's have a sip of wine and get into the nitty gritty of this, right? Okay. Alrighty, so first I'm going to read my stylist note. I know I held it up, but I, you know, I do think that my stylist, no matter who she is, and I think this time she did do a good job for me, but we'll get into it later. So she says, hi Nancy, happy fixed day. My name is Carol, and I'm happy to be styling you today. I read through your notes. Thank you for being such a loyal client and believe that I have found some great pieces for you today. I noticed that you recently requested a pair of light bootcut jeans with a high rise inseam and we have not sent you a pair of the brand cut from the cloth so I added the Simmons jeans for you to try. The wash is medium indigo but I didn't have anything lighter so let me know if this will work for you. I paired them with the petite market and spruce hooded top or for a dressier event where the Magnolia Grace Cashmere Pullover in the Jewel Tone Purple color that works great for you. The Liverpool Line Skirt will look fabulous with a CC black top. Please leave feedback for me on these selections. Warmly, Carol. So again, a nice note, very thoughtful. She looked, I think she looked at my history. She knows that I like the Jewel Tones, the colors, and so I think she really did a great job. Alrighty, so the invoice, and I will hold this up. I did take a snapshot, but you can see again um, in case there's anything that um, you want here for to ask for your, your stylist for. I did take a snapshot, so we'll see that at the end. You can always freeze it. So the total of everything in my box is $378. If I were to buy all, I would get that 25% discount, which would be $94.50 off. That's a heck of a discount. 
brings my total to 283.50 and I think for five items uh, with a pair of jeans and a cashmere sweater I think that's fabulous um, I paid that $49 earlier for a styling fee so I know if you don't have that $49 pass you would pay $20 up front and then you would get the $20 credit but I don't have that my total is $283.50 alrighty so let's get into the nitty gritty and this first one is the uh, C CC top and I, I just think this is darling um, it's called the CC Sportswear, the Megan Ruffle Sleeve in black. It's a small petite, $78. It's a nice stretchy material. I think it was 95% polyester, 5% spandex. I love the sleeve detail. Um, I think it fit nice because, you know, I have that kind of fit issue, kind of like under the arms and things because, yeah, I don't have this here. Am I like the pirate stream with a sunken chest or a carpenter stream flat as a plank? Yeah, I don't know. I'm one or the other. But anyway, so I, I have that problem right here with things kind of not really fitting right. But I think this had a, a really nice fit. My problem, and, and it's got this really cute keyhole and the little button here. And you don't even have to undo it to get it on. Like I said, it's a nice stretchy material in the fat. The front, it's very forgiving and it just kind of hangs and, and it has that nice drape. In the back, I think my back fat was just a little too much for this. So you could just see my back fat just kind of bulging out like a bag of potatoes. So for that reason, I'm thinking I'm going to return it. I know I'm getting back into exercising and things like that, but... I don't know if I'm ever going to lose that back fat because, yeah, sometimes the things are hard. So for that reason, I do love this. I think it's really great. I think even though it's a nice material and you could dress it up with a nice pair of dress pants or a skirt, I think with jeans, I think it was really, really cute. So if you don't have back fat, this is a top for you. Alrighty, next are these cut from the cloth jeans. I love these jeans. I love these jeans and these are actually the ones that are made from the recycled bottles I, I don't understand how they make plastic and it's so nice and comfortable so it does have some nice stretch and again it's the high-rise fab ab baby boot cut cut from the cloth and I think she mentioned somewhere in my notes it's Simmons the Simmons high-rise indigo size zero these are $88, which is kind of like a standard price for like cut from the cloth, Liverpool jeans. I do like the wash on them. And sometimes for work, I like, and I do have a, a pair of um, the dark wash jeans that I like to wear to work if I want to wear a blazer or a nice cardigan because I feel like I'm kind of dressed up. But I like to wear black with my jeans. And when I wear black, I like to wear the faded jeans. And I just think these are great. Um, it's got the just a baby boot cut it's not like I don't think it's not overwhelming it is the perfect length because you all know Nancy doesn't do crap pants Nancy doesn't do ankle pants Nancy does not do Captain Kirk pants and these these were perfect thank you so much Carol I love these these are not going anywhere except my drawer they're mine alrighty next is the Liverpool the pencil skirt Alrighty. Alrighty. So this is $72. And I think it was a little clingy on me. And um, I think it does have a kick pleat that you can, um, you know, cut that material if you were going to keep it. I think it's adorable. I love this skirt. But look at this. Um, does anybody remember this? I got this one I was a size six now this no longer fits me because well I'm not a six anymore but I never wore it and when I bought it I loved it and I thought I was gonna wear this all the time I was gonna wear it with my boots in the winter I could wear it in the spring I could wear it in the fall with you know a nice turtleneck of either black or cream or camel and I never wore them I never even took the tags off and it doesn't fit so I'm afraid the same thing would happen with this, that I think it's cute. Um, like I said, I think it's snug, but I am working on losing a little bit of weight again. And uh, I'm just afraid that if I buy these, the same thing's going to happen, that it's going to sit in my closet and I'm not going to wear it. Uh, but it is cute. I love this. You know, I love animal print. It's so cute, but 
I, I think for that reason, because I never wore the other one, that this one is going to sit there too, even though I love it. And did I tell you that was $72? And again, that was the Liverpool, the Buy a Knit Pencil Skirt in Brown, size 0, $72. This next top, I love, love the color. This is 100% uh, cashmere. It's really, really soft. It's coming out kind of like a purpley thing, but to me, and of course she does call it purple, right? Or jewel tone, but in person it's more like a nice, it's like a really rich burgundy wine. Love love the color um i think it did kind of fit okay here not perfect for 90 at the price on this is 98 dollars um i don't think it was perfect here but i did like it it's got a nice v-neck i think you could wear nice jewelry with it and dress it up for me um i i just saw it in the front it just kind of hung funny right in here like when i turned sideways you could see that it was kind of sticking out kind of like a maternity shirt type thing when things are kind of too flowy so i think it just had extra material here um it is it, and again it is 100 percent cashmere you can wash this let me read the label um all righty i'm almost there okay 100 percent cashmere made in china hand wash separately um reshape lay dry to flat or you can dry clean it. I like that you can hand wash it, but I also think that because it is thin and it's already kind of blousy, a little too blousy and flowy in front, I think this is the kind that's gonna stretch out. And and even though it is cashmere, it's pricey. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a really nice cashmere sweater because I think that's kind of like um, an investment piece. It's a nice staple that's not gonna go out of style and you can have it for years and years to come. I think this one is going to stretch out, and for that reason, this one is going back. Lastly, we have this Market and Spruce. This is called the Diana, the Raglan Color Block Top. This is in a small petite. They're calling it dark gray. It's got the uh, color block here, so we got kind of like this kind of like soft gray, and then we go to this kind of like mustard yellow, and then kind of like a heathered blue type gray. Um, it is hooded, um, so like a v-neck. It's got that kangaroo pocket. It's rounded just a little bit, not all the, not a big round scoop, but it is a little bit rounded. Um, it's really, really soft. Um, I, I, I don't get the white, white laces here. I think it just kind of cheapens it. Um, and I know maybe other people think the same thing. I think maybe if you just, if you had the gray or you had the dark gray or the whatever color this is, that kind of like a steel gray blue, I think it would look much, much better. Um, I just don't think it's my style. Like I thought I liked baseball tops uh, because everybody got them and they looked really nice in them. So I bought a few. They're still in my closet with tags on. So as much as I like this and it's soft, it's comfortable. I just don't think I'm going to pull for it but it is really nice. I think it did have a really nice fit on me. It's $42, it's not expensive at all. I think this is a really nice casual wear and I think a lot of people would wear this. I just don't think it's me. So the only thing I think, I think I'm keeping is the jeans that I love. But I would love to hear your opinions. Like I said, I can talk myself in and out of things at the drop of a hat. So I would love to hear your opinions. And again, um, yeah, um, your comments, of course, are always welcome. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up, even if you don't like me or you don't like my content. If you give me a thumbs up, that's still okay. It makes me feel good. And yeah, so we will chat again later. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll chat later. Bye-bye.